The use of the mirror is maximized in performance logic. Fair to use the mirror is the guaranteed route to compromise a balanced posture. The mirror is perhaps the most underutilized and one of the most valuable tools in all of dentistry. The mirror utilized in performance logic is smaller than most mirrors. It has a surface diameter of approximately 14 millimeters. The angulation of the mirror in relationship to the mirror shaft or mirror handle holding the viewing surface is set at approximately 135 degrees from this aspect or 45 degrees from an imagined extension of the mirror handle. Therefore, this mirror's viewing surface is designed for support of sit-down dentistry primarily by size and other features for performance logic specifically. The mirror is handled gently with thumb and forefinger of the dominant mirror hand. For a right-handed person, the dominant mirror hand is the left hand. So whether the right hand is encumbered or not, the left hand is essentially used for all mirror viewing. The mirror, once picked up from the supporting tray, brought to the mirror hand, is left in that hand, whether in use or whether palmed in a static standby kind of relationship or recalled for utilization in the oral cavity. If the operator is assisted, then this type of grip and manipulation of the mirror maintains. If the operator is without assistance, because of his need to also retract cheek tissue, it may be necessary to come down the handle a bit to be able to both place the mirror and retract cheek with fourth and fifth fingers. The mirror is generally placed by a wrist drop from behind the patient over the patient's mid face into the oral cavity. The mirror is generally introduced between the cuspid points of the patient's maxilla. so as to keep it from the side of the handpiece and to keep it from having its surface marred by the affluent debris coming from the cutting area. For this reason also and for the quality of the image, the mirror is held as far from the cutting surface or the operating site as possible. Generally we use the mirror of course for viewing the maxilla and therefore as far away as one might place it is the mandibular occlusal table or the dorsum of the tongue. There is a full range of mirror positions, of course appropriate to the site being serviced and being viewed. The important point is to always have the tip of the cutting instrument at the center point of the mirror surface. It is possible in this technique to rest the palm of the mirror hand on the patient's zygomatic process or in some cases the patient's brow.